Hey guys, so I'm Monday. I'm su I'm supposed to be on Mondays. I'm I'm Sean, but um, I was really late this week because of uh dealing with stuff with starting school and uh, work and everything. So, but this week's topic is clothes, and clothes for anyone is very important. But clothes for a trans dude is very important because it can either help you pass or show more or whatever so basically I picked out a few things uh, me being me I'm gonna go through everything so like pants boxers shirts hats I love clothes um, I own a lot I actually just got rid of a lot too because they don't fit anymore because after surgery I gained a few pounds and yeah so um, Let's get back, let's get to clothes. Okay, so for t-shirts, shirts that, um, sorry, lighting is really bad. Shirts that box out your chest and everything, really good, it makes it look broad, and it's really good to show, I mean, I'm post-op, so it doesn't look like anything, but still, I still go to shirts like this to make me feel better. Because I am a very worrisome guy with that. Other shirts, like box logos on front, really do the trick. But make sure they're not too far from the collar. Because if they are, then it could show a little side boobage. And no one wants that. So that's a, an idea for... um. Like button up shirts and everything, plaid is always a good way to go. It makes you look flatter on the side and everything. And it's very stylish. Another t shirt that's really good. So anything that has like boxing over your chest or anything, it's really nice and really flattering. Um, sweaters, like if you have a sweatshirt. Or a sweater and you're still not comfortable wearing like plain colors and everything I say get like lime sweatshirts they might look make you look a little more wider but I'd say that's better than um, what you call it then someone looking at you and be like so I do have boobs so um, yeah I lied I don't have any jeans or anything but for the downstairs area if you're not packing yet it's really you just go by what size you really are with pants so like say if you're like one like the medium size then you go for the medium size pants so like 30 to 36 is the medium size or regular size I don't know that's what I was told but um if you start packing and you already have boxers and stuff from before you were packing and it was comfortable and everything and now your underwear is getting a little tight um, maybe it's time to go up a size uh, in underwear or something but always make sure like for boxers or for briefs whatever you wear make sure they're really comfortable and I don't know but like a lot of boxers recently don't have this but like there's two lines that go here so like Instead of having one line that goes down, it's two lines here, and they're very more comfortable. I mean, and they're the exact same price. I mean, these are freaking mean. And I used to actually wear um, a harness that was just made out of uh, a free aluminum like waistband. Maybe I'll do that tutorial later on uh, when packing comes along or something. And I do not wear double shirts anymore, but when I was binding and everything, under shirts and white t-shirts like this go a long way, a long, long way, and they help a lot. I mean, they might look, make you look a little bigger in other places, like your stomach or your shoulders. I mean, the only bad place to look big in is your stomach. So everything else, it, it does the trick. So... That's 
pretty much the closed situation. Um, so just make sure, like, if you're not used to or ready to wear plain clothes yet, like plain, like nothing on them, like no logo or anything, I say definitely go for the box look. It's very flattering, and it helps. So, if any questions, let me know or let any of you. Let any of the other guys know, and we will try and answer them. Thank you, and sorry for the late video.